Hey friends, wanted to come to you real quickly and just share with you some of the steps that we are taking to uh, be able to gather back together as a church. Uh, I want to first of all just tell you that I echo the statement that Paul made to Timothy in 2 Timothy where he said, I remember you in tears and long to be back together with you where I can be filled with joy. I understand that statement from Paul and I miss us being together as a church. With that said, we are paying very close attention to the regulations and restrictions and announcements of our local and state government. We will use those announcements and those phases that our government will walk through to guide the phases of our regathering as a church. For instance, we are currently in phase one which for us means that we're gonna to continue to uh, gather online on Sundays for our Bible study and our worship service on Wednesday afternoons for our midweek gathering. And then our children and student ministries are continuing to gather online as well. Now, as our government moves to phase two, we will make that transition as well. To get a, an overall picture, you can go to our website and all of our regathering information is there. As we move to each phase, we will come back and share with you the details of what our moving through those phases individually will look like for you as we come back together as a church. My friends, the word unprecedented has been used so many times that it is almost just something that doesn't mean anything anymore, but the reality is that none of us have been here before. I made a joke in a gathering with a, a, a group of pastors the other day that said that I don't remember taking Pandemic 101 when I was in seminary. This is something that we've all been learning as we go along. We honestly have listened to so many webinars, read so many articles, had so many conversations and consultations with other church leaders to try to figure out what should we do in this season. I will say that as a church, we have continued to minister to our community. And I'm so thankful for you as a church with the way that you have been faithful and allowed us to continue to touch the lives of people in our community. Even in our regathering, we want to continue to do that. We wanna set an example for our community. We wanna be good citizens. We want to create a secure and clean environment for us to come back together to worship the God of all creation. We look forward to that time. We miss you and we long to be back together, but we know that there is a process that we need to walk through. And so that's what we're going to do in the coming days. As the government announces subsequent phases, we will come back to you and give you even more information about what those phases will include for us as a church. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at dan at stetson.church. You can email me there. You can email our entire church staff at info at stetson.church. Once again, we look forward to being, come, to being able to come back together. This has honestly been an exciting time for our church. We have had a number of people connect with our church through this season, and we're excited about the opportunity to continue to minister to our community but we definitely look forward to being back together. We look forward to the day that we can all join together in this room and give God all glory and all praise for all that he has done in our lives. We do that now, but there's nothing like coming back together as a church. And we hope that the information that we've shared with you today will give you some understanding of how we're going to walk through the process of being in our current situation all the way to the point of being able to gather together again. We look forward to that day.